So, a month back, I made a video showing how you can reach orbit using only decouplers. If you haven't seen that, I recommend you check that out first, as it will give more details for the math behind these decoupler rockets. That said, I will admit that getting into orbit is kind of boring on its own. So, let's kick it up a notch. Let's actually go somewhere. For this mission, we're going to Minmus and back using only decouplers. Our launch vehicle here is the Kerbal Momentum Converter 3000. It is made of 526 parts and weighs in at 174 metric tons. 428 of those parts and 98% of the total mass is in the large hydraulic detachment manifolds in the first stage. As you might be able to tell, this is going to be less of a rocket and more a piece of heavy artillery. Buckle up, Valentina, this is going to be a wild ride. After getting Valentina comfortable in her airlock, the next step is to engage physical time warp. This increases the physics time step which in turn increases the impulse provided by the decouplers. Unfortunately, we can't quite get this up to four times time warp due to Kraken issues, so I designed this first stage to use three times time warp. All 428 decouplers are fired at once, providing an impulse of 5.8 million newton seconds, which gives the 3.4 ton projectile a velocity of about 1,700 meters per second. This speed is so high that the fairing almost overheats from aerodynamic heating. While we did get a big kick from the first stage, this isn't enough to reach Minmus. In fact, it's only enough to get our apoapsis to just over 150 kilometers, compared to the 47,000 kilometers that Minmus orbits at. Fortunately, we have a second stage to get us the rest of the way there. With the second stage, we get an impulse of 720,000 newton seconds, which pushes us from 1,000 meters per second to the necessary 3,200 meters per second. And well, look at that. We actually got a Minmus encounter from that impulse. It's not quite right though, so we need to do a correction burn. Let's time warp a little closer to make this easier. To fine tune the encounter, I have these two decouplers here to provide some small correction impulses. I calculated the delta V of these stages beforehand, so all we have to do is create a maneuver node with exactly that much delta V, and then fire it to fine tune the encounter. At this point, you may have noticed that we're running a little low on decouplers. We only have four left. If you do the math, this is not enough to slow down and then come home. This is what the pillar of flags on the bottom is for. As it turns out, the new flag parts have a stupid high impact tolerance, and so we can just come in for a litho braking pass to slow down. All right, Valentina, brace for impact and, oh. Mmm, that didn't quite work. Unfortunately, litho braking is mostly luck based. To get a good litho break, you really just have to try this multiple times and hope the Kraken favors you. After a few quick saves and quick loads, and even a game crash, we got lucky on this impact and bled off a significant amount of velocity. From here, it's just a few more hops across the flats until we come to a stop on the side of this hill. And there we have it. Let's get out and plant a flag to celebrate. Alright, so Valentina's enjoyed her time on Minmus, 
but it's time to get home. To do that, we're just gonna fire our last correction stage and then the final three decouplers. We don't need the probe core reaction wheels and battery with us now, so we'll just leave those on the lower stage in order to reduce the mass of the final stage and get the highest velocity possible for our impulse. This almost puts our periapsis in the atmosphere, but not quite. Fortunately, we can do some moon gravity assist to get us back down. Our final moon gravity assist puts us on a kind of crazy encounter of Kerbin. We're pretty much going straight down into the atmosphere. This would melt most other command pods, but not the airlock. Its high heat tolerance combined with its high drag allows it to slow down safely. After parachuting down into this nice oasis in the desert, we have officially finished the mission. We have taken a Kerbal from the surface of Kerbin to Minmus and back using only the power of decouplers. Thank you so much for watching. I had a ton of fun with this one, and I'm looking forward to doing more shenanigans with decouplers in the future. I hope you enjoyed this mission as much as I enjoyed making it. I'll see you in the next one.